Have you guys ever had a situation where you'd just be thinking or doing some kind of activity and then suddenly like out of the random blue a memory that you've tried to subside or tried to go it's in the past blah 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 like that kind of stuff just randomly comes back and pretty much haunts you hey guys my name is Dave and welcome to another video I've had situations like that happen often. The reason I'm actually talking about it, maybe I've talked about it before, maybe not, I have no idea. But the reason I'm talking about it today is because of the fact that it's been happening to me a lot recently. And it's not just today either. Within the past month, I've been like cursed with rehashes of the worst circumstances I have gone through in my life and depending on the day it's always a different one and by the end of the day I would always feel horrid I would feel like I was going through some kind of purgatory some of these memories would make me feel like I've done wrong, others would just make me want to curl up in a ball and just go, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. And yes, I'm not joking or anything like that, this actually does happen to me more often than not. Thank heavens it's always when I'm alone when this kind of thing happens, but I don't know. It's rare where this happens when other people are around, but it sometimes feels like a curse to me, where I'll, I'll just be like, for, for example, the most recent one actually happened today, I was playing through Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memory uh, for the PS2, well actually it's the remaster one for the PS4, but Anyway, um, it's not really remastered. I was playing through it, and randomly out of the blue, when I'm just like focused on, you know, leveling up, because I feel like you can't go through that without leveling up, out of the blue, my brain just decides to go, oh, remember this bad time of your life, and just keeps pounding me with it to the point where I find a save point, save, turn off what I'm doing, and literally just sit. Trying to push away what's going through my head, but I, for some reason, can't. It's horrendous. It's something like, the thing is, originally today, I was actually planning on visiting Pink Fox at work, but with the mindset I'm in, I don't want to ruin that atmosphere. If this mindset eventually goes away, then I still will, but... Pink Fox, if you see this, well... You might know what day I'm talking about. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, regardless... Back to the topic. This happens to me way more often than I'd like to admit, and I try to contain it... Who oh, am I kidding? No, I don't. I try to be open about this kind of stuff, but at the same time, I try to contain it. That's more the accurate phrase. The thing is, I'm not the kind of person to hide this kind of stuff. Apparently, a lot of people in the world love containing all their fear and all this and all that, all the dark stuff in their life. They just want to contain and compress it. Me? I don't want to. But it just feels like whenever I do try to come forward about like the difficult times, nothing good comes out of it. And then when I try to keep it to myself, nothing good comes out of it. It's like, when it comes to the bad things in my life, it feels like a constant purgatory because no matter the option I make, bad comes out of it. And all I can think of when, when those things come to mind are bad. Is anybody at fault at this? No. But my my mental patterns 
No one's at fault, but no one seems to understand this kind of aspect. I guess I'm just trying to vent about this, just because... This is one of the ways I usually try to brush away the kind of thing I'm talking about. When bad things come to my mind, bad reminders of my past of whatever circumstance it might be, and it's always like a roll of a, I don't know, D&D &D dice, since those are like 12-sided dice, I think. 10 or 12, I can't remember. I still might be wrong. More than a normal die. Pair of die. Um, but... When it comes to the difficult things, the, the, the things that come to my mind, the dark, heavy topics, it's like a roll of a D and D dice. Whatever number it lands on, it covers the topic, and it's like it's torturous. No one's ever to blame for this kind of thing, because a lot of people probably will watch this and go, "I'm at fault," because I know a lot of people who do that. But no. I mean, quite frankly, me saying no, that's not the case, probably won't do anything either, but it's tough. I, I'm one of those people who, like, most, most people in the world that, like, subside things within a few days. Me, I tried that. I used to be able to do that, but the older I get, the harder that becomes. Nowadays... I can't just subside things within a few days. You were rolling far back enough and that would be a piece of cake for me, but... Nowadays, it's nigh impossible for me to just subside a situation. Nowadays, when it comes to that kind of stuff, once it happens, it sticks. It it's like a permanent mark. It's like a mistake is a tattoo artist drawing on you, and then once it's there, it's never coming off. Unless given an extreme amount of time. Which is actually true from what I understand of tattoos. Once they're drawn, they're permanent, yeah, that's what people say. But if you never get them redone, they start to very slowly fade away. It's kind of like a pen, I guess you could say. Pen on paper. Slowly, slowly fades away. But until that, it's completely faded. It's stuck. It's a mark. It's a permanent mark on your life. Kind of thing. Or um, on your body, in the case of a tattoo. But in my case, for these circumstances, life. It's a permanent mental mark until it's complete. It's been long enough to where it can be washed away. I'm not going to go into detail of what the situations are. Most of them have been enough in the past where it's regard. It's kind of pointless, so I don't understand why it still comes to my mind so many years later. But still. This has a tendency to happen to me either when I'm like half awake, half asleep, waking up, going to bed, or trying to relax. And it just kind of ruins my day. Does it happen frequently? Uh, I wouldn't say it happens frequently, but it's, it's kind of like a seizure. It's extremely random. It's kind of, or for those who don't know that is for some weird reason, epilepsy. If you don't know one of the terms, you'll know the other one. But it's kind of like that. You never know when it's going to happen. You never, ever know how bad it's going to be until it actually happens. Sometimes there are things that kind of tell you, oh, this is what's going to show you it's going to... This is what's telling you it's going to happen. But, I mean... I don't know. I guess... Once it happens, another similarity between seizures and what I'm going through, or what I go through with these kind of push of the mind kind of things... 
They happen out of the blue, yes, but one other similarity is that the length that it lasts varies. Sometimes when this kind of thing happens, it can last for hours. Sometimes when this kind of thing happens, it can last for just a few seconds. In those cases, it's rare. But those cases usually are the case where it starts happening, I'm like, eh, whatever. Brush it aside and it becomes not as much of a problem. But that's why I say it's rare, is because for the most part, that doesn't happen. I don't know. For the most part, I would say most of the time with me, when this kind of thing happens, it's more of a case of... I guess... The mind will start pushing me. Start pushing me to think of a random given point in time. Uh, where either I do wrong, or I've gotten hurt to a drastic amount. Whether it's because of my wrongdoing or not, doesn't matter. And my brain puts me in this limbo of making me think of it for, like, over and over and over and over again. And for the most part, this happens for about an hour and a half to three hours. For the most part. Sometimes days. But that one's rare, about as rare as the seconds one. And I feel like that's just my limbo or my purgatory. My, the reason I say that is because, for the most part, I am an optimistic person. But once you, once I get pissed off, that optimism is extremely hard to bring back. Once it's brought back, it's extremely hard to put me in that negative mindset. But because of this extreme optimistic side of me, this, I mean, the negativity has to be somewhere, right? Contained in here. That's where it is for the most part. Because of that, sometimes it can be super easy to get in an argument with me. Those arguments are usually what causes these mindsets in the first place. Because my brain, for some reason, loves to blame me. Or for some reason, loves to remind me of all the pain that is caused, regardless to who. It just loves reminding me of the bad. Now, I know I'm not the only one on the planet who does this, but... It just, I guess it's just something that I kind of needed to vent about. I guess, I, I, don't, I don't know. My brain is like, sometimes I wish I could just turn it off. Not, and I'm not saying in the sense of I wish I could kill myself or anything. That's not what I'm saying. Sometimes I'd rather just be asleep. And I mean like in bed, snoozing, kind of asleep before anybody goes down too much of a dark path. I Sometimes I'd just rather be that rather than dealing with stuff like this. But I can't. Because it just happen it happens too often. Anyway, I'm going to head off. For all those who stuck around to listen to me vent, thank you. Um... If you want to check out something else that's a bit more appealing, or maybe maybe just a different topic in general, why not click the link on the side of my head and you might find something else. Um, if you want to check out something that YouTube thinks you might enjoy a bit more than this kind of stuff, uh, the other side of my head will have a link to that. Neither quite flooding your boat, why not check the channel itself out and you might find something there. But in the meantime, I'm going to head off. Again, for those who stuck around for this long, thanks for listening to me banter. Uh, and I hope to see all of you in another, hopefully a bit more upbeat, video. See you guys later.